We are going for a trip. We gonna try something we haven't done before. It's quite early in the morning right now. It's around six uh, for Sunday morning. It, it's, it's just... Whoa! Jealous. All right, so we are here to do Via Ferrata. So we were supposed to have a guide. We don't have a guide, but we probably will be all right. Yeah. We will be okay. What Via Ferrata actually is, it's secured climbing. It's easier version of it. If you have a bit of climbing experience, you can do Via Ferrata that is more difficult than the climbing route you would do otherwise. This particular one is set to K3, which means that the route is difficult, but the start was pretty easy. It's so nice just to be in the nature, not a single soul around, or is there? There was one exit midway through and the second part was much harder than the first one. Alright, we are done with the Ferrata. How was it? Amazing! It was really good. And I learned two lessons. Don't leave your extra GoPro batteries in the car. <laughs> and also you need a screen protector for a GoPro when you're doing Via Ferrata. But it was alright. It was really, really good climb. We're going home. It's really sad, but got to go. Got to go. All right, so we're back home. It was an amazing trip. And that's one thing that everybody loves about Barcelona, about how close it is to go to places like that. And I was thinking for the whole part of this trip, uh, how can I make this video better? And I realized that some of you might want to go and do exactly the same thing as I did. So essentially it's very easy. If you're going by public transport, you have to go to San Pedro de Gijols. I might be butchering the name. I'm just gonna put it uh, somewhere in the description down below. Public transport is gonna take you around two, two hours and a half because you'll have to take a train or a bus and then another bus to get to Costa Brava. If you're going by car, it's gonna take you around one hour and a half, one hour, 20 minutes. The place itself, it's called Cale de Molli and you can even go to their web website. I'm also gonna leave it in, in comments down below. Um, you'll need to pay at least 17 euros, so 17 euros includes all the gear. You don't have a guide. I guess if you have a little bit of experience bouldering or climbing, you won't have any issues. 
Uh, at the time when we were going, there were plenty of people there and we didn't really need a guide. Um, we booked one, it just we didn't get one. There was some misunderstanding. With the guide, it will cost you 30 euros and it also includes photos. So if you're going alone, I suppose that's actually a really good deal. Or in general, if you don't want to bring your camera with you, somebody else will take photos for you. So once you're there, there is plenty of things to do. You can go kayaking. Uh, also, this town is part of uh, Camino de Ronda. I will be making video on that in maybe a month or so. I will be going back there. Apart from that, the restaurant where we were eating, it cost us around 25 euros each. Uh, we were going for tapas, but you can also go for menu del dia. It would include two courses and the dessert. Uh, it would also cost 25 euros. And I think that was the most expensive part of our trip. Yeah, overall, it was an amazing experience. Really good day. Uh, that, that's all what we needed. I'll see you in the next one.